What's going on out there gamers? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back today with six solo glitches. Fun glitches, man. Launches, wall breaches, things like that for you guys to take advantage of. Everybody can do them because they're nice and completely solo. Having a friend will make them way better because let me tell you, you get some glitchy results and it's just it's just a lot of good fun, all right? Uh, yeah, so my apologies for not uploading recently in the past few days, man. I've been really struggling on what I would want to actually post because I'm not going to post something that I don't even care for or I'm getting tired of. Gift cards to friends, man. I'm getting tired of it. I got footage for a few other ways to really do the glitch, but kind of skeptical on if I'm going to even uh, post them. If a way easier method comes around to post, uh, I will definitely be posting it. But just so you guys know, the Cargo Bob method still works. There's another two-player method that still works. There's a few things you can do. But uh, yeah, so for today, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to do six solo glitches. Really fun. This first one right here is the train breach glitch. You can breach into the cockpit, okay? So as you can see right here, just wait for the train. When you get to this part, just press X and you can hop right on. All right, so just go to the train tracks. You can just do that simply. If you got an oppressor and you got some skill, go ahead and fly it, you know, and land onto the, uh, you know, onto the train. You know, you can also do that as well. Or with a helicopter if you want to, you know, just dive out. Anyways, once you're on the, uh, the train, go ahead and just climb up on top of the roof and walk all the way to the front of it. Now, you can go on either side of this. I recommend this side. I did try the other side and it's kind of, you know, I don't know, it's kind of inconsistent on the other side, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, you want to stock up on snacks before you do this, by the way. Once you stocked up on snacks, what you're going to do is stand on this side, start eating a snack, and you want to walk towards the window, okay? Walk towards the window, and while you're eating or drinking a snack, press the uh, pause button, and then just let go of pause. You're going to see right here, I'm actually going to drink uh, a few piss washers. So I'm going to go ahead, drink a few piss washers, start walking, you know, drinking. Go ahead, keep drinking, and then press pause. And then once you press pause, just let go, just like that. And then you don't want to touch your controller whatsoever. Just let go of your controller completely. This could take a while, guys. As you can see right here, it took me over two and a half, three minutes. If it hasn't happened by then, it might not happen. So well, the point is, you kind of froze yourself in that animation. And when the train turns left, right, goes up, down, it's going to push you and kind of glitch you into the uh, the cockpit. Make sure you're not touching your controller whatsoever. Just leave it, you know, just leave it sitting there. Just wait. Be patient. You must have patience. And watch this. It's all of a sudden going to glitch me through. Look at that. You see that slow motion? I wanted, I wanted it to go in slow-mo so I can show you guys. But you check that out. It just glitched me right through the train. And now you're in here. Now you can go ahead and do whatever you want. You can chill with the, uh, the driver right there. It's super glitchy in here because you're definitely not supposed to be in here. But that's all you got to do. So make sure you fill up on snacks before you do this glitch because you're probably going to go through a lot your first time. I kid you not, it took me 20 minutes to finally get this to work, okay? So do not give up if it doesn't work after a minute or two, or even 10 minutes, man. Don't give up on these glitches, guys. They're glitches. They're not meant to work perfectly, all right? They're not meant to be in the game. That's why they're called glitches, okay? So be persistent, you know, be confident, and uh, yeah, be confident in your skill to do a glitch, man, all right? And if you need help, go ahead down in the comment section. Ask people for help if you guys want to do these glitches together. But that's how you glitch into the cockpit of the train. This next glitch I'm going to show you guys is actually a wall breach. So this wall breach is to actually get into Arcadius, all right? Kind of, I guess the lobby of Arcadius, if you want to put it that way. You're going to need an oppressor for this. It's definitely the best way to do it. Um, so you're going to fly up, and I'm going to go in slow-mo right here. Once you get into this little crevice, you want to go up, and then it should shoot you straight into the actual lobby right there. And once you're in there, you are glitched inside. Hell of a wall breach right here. At first, I didn't think you could actually shoot out because when I'm shooting, you actually see the bullets hitting up against, you know, that invisible wall. So I didn't think you can actually shoot. And then I started shooting over here. Same thing every now and then. But thanks to uh, my boy BMX over here, who's always helping me out and having fun on GTA. I was like, you know what? Go ahead and stand over there. He's on top of that roof. I just shot him right there. And look at that. Look how long it took. Kind of glitchy. But I did kill him through this wall breach. All right. So that does work. And let me tell you, look at this. I just shot a rocket there. He's all glitchy. Somehow that didn't kill him. And look at that. He like flew away, but then he still somehow still kind of glitched onto that part. So I went ahead. I aimed at him. You know, I got my RPG out, took a shot. I'm going to go into the scope so you guys can see. And then this one does do the trick. So as you can see right there, you can shoot out of it. You can snipe out of it. You know, RPGs, whatever you guys want. That is a really cool uh, glitch, breach. This one is still, we're going to stay in Arcadius just because we're here already. 
this is simple man these glitches have been around for a little bit but I just wanted to show you guys uh, in case you didn't know we have a lot of new players here alright so having a lot of new players you guys might not know about this you seasoned players man if you know about this great for you you can go ahead and click away that's all good you won't hurt my feelings but yeah you can walk right through this part of Arcadius literally you don't got to do any crazy glitchy stuff just walk right through it and as you can see you are in pretty much full god mode when you're in here Bullets will not penetrate and explosives will not. And you're about to see, uh, I'll give you proof right now. Uh, with explosives though, just make sure you're not too close to the windows. Because if you are too close, uh, you know, they could kill you. But as you can see right here, I can't shoot out either. So you might be full god mode, but you can't shoot out either. Alright, as you can see, I got stickies all around. He placed them there. He's going to go ahead and blow them up. And right there, standing right there, five stickies all around me. Nothing happened, didn't lose a speck of health. So that is the breach right on top of Arcadius. The fire does come in here though, and you'll see, I will catch on fire real quick. <laughs> so that still does happen. This next one is a launch glitch. You wanna go to this location on the map, okay? Now, once you're at this location, that's the bush that we're actually gonna be crashing into. So drive down the street all the way, you know, as far as you can up to those shops, and then just simply go ahead and drive. I would say I'd recommend a good bike. I wanted to do it with this just to kind of test it out with my street blazer. And uh, I got a pretty funny result, which is why I wanted to actually include this in the video. I ended up just driving right there. I almost made it completely on top of the uh, of the ceiling or the roof of that building or that parking garage. This is using the Hakushu, all right? I definitely recommend the Hakushu. Good bike to do it. You can do it with a Batty 801 as well, but as you can see, completely launches you up into the sky, man, over. Uh, have fun, test this out with your friend, man. See if you guys can launch completely over the building. But sometimes you'll go higher than others. Sometimes you'll go farther than others. So uh, it's very random, this glitch, but it's really fun to do. You can spend hours doing glitches like this. This one, I nearly made it over that building, man. Check it out. Literally at the edge of the roof. So see if you guys can make it. BMX made it over completely once. Uh, so yeah, right here. This is the fly forever on the oppressor glitch, all right? Been around for a little bit, but some of you guys might not know. So... At this point, what you want to do, I'm marking it on the map. This is pretty much the exact location, probably a little bit more to the right, that you're going to want to go to. And I'm going to show you the easiest way. You definitely need an oppressor for this. It's the only way, you know, to actually fly forever. The oppressor is just glitchy, and the spot is very glitchy with the oppressor. So I'd recommend go ahead, and once you get to this point, get onto the street. And then once you're on the street, just go fast. Once you see that red sign on the right, just lift off. Don't hit your booster or anything like that. And then you can spawn, or not spawn, but you can end up right in the spot that you need to be at okay so as you can see this is the exact uh, little spot we're gonna be lifting off from basically one of these ledges right here at the very end and I'm gonna show you two results this is what you want to do you want to pull back go forward and then hit the boost when that when that pretty much right when that ledge pops you back when you're hitting the wheelie and that ledge pops you back just hit that boost and hopefully that back tire will roll along it and then just pull back on the stick and just stay like this and if you've done it correctly you will see yourself just start gliding forever, just like this, all right? A lot of times it will not work. I definitely failed a few times while trying to get this footage. So once again, don't give up, have patience. It will work for you eventually, okay? All these glitches will work. I have just recorded all of these today, just a few hours ago, okay? These have been around for a little bit. There's no way they're going anywhere. Check it out for proof. The Vigilante, the P45 is as recent as they are, man. I'm on the most recent patch. Uh, this is recent footage. Okay, so at this point, make sure you don't shoot a rocket when you're this high, because if you shoot a rocket, you will die, just like that. Uh, I'm not sure why that happens, but here's footage again of me hitting it in maybe a little bit of a different way, just so you guys can see. That is like the perfect result that you want to see, just kind of going right over, and just pull back on the stick, and just as you see right there, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to move it, and I'm just going to fast forward at this point so that you see me completely just gliding and gliding if you go too far you will just explode so i recommend once you get pretty high up there go ahead and pull out your wings and then just start flying or gliding whatever you want to call it now i wanted to show you how far i actually decided to glide i was like you know what i've never done this before let me see if i can glide all the way to the top of mount chiliad and check it out if you got a friend to do this with you man this would be extra fun but check it out i actually did end up making it all the way to the top of Mount Chiliad from way the hell out there past the pier, man. That's how high you get. That's a good perspective. 
on how high you can get and I hit that dude <laughs> he was looking out of his like binoculars or something but as you can see I did make it up there and uh yeah so that is the fly forever glitch right there still working with the oppressor all right now we have one more glitch for you guys this is a really cool wall breach and uh, I'm gonna show you the location right here on the map pretty soon but this one is really close it's pretty much at the beach over by the pier uh, kind of kind of a little bit ahead of where those Pegasus vehicles spawn uh, right next to the Southern Los Santos customs basically so I'm gonna show you on the map here it is this is the exact location and right here what we're gonna be doing is go down these steps and then that rock to the right that's what we're gonna be breaching into so what you want to do is just go ahead and get into the water uh, Xbox I know we press right bumper to dive PlayStation it's probably R1 so uh, yeah whatever it is to dive go ahead and dive and you want to try to get right into the crevice of those two rocks pretty much right there uh, for some reason I wasn't able to get it right there so I kind of just kept trying kept trying uh, once again, don't give up guys. These are glitches. I'm meant to work 100% of the time. Okay, so I went out there kind of repositioned myself pressed right bumper and then now I'm going ahead and I'm gonna try and Right pretty much right there So I guess it's to the right of the crevice a little bit But just like that you are glitched inside the rock now This is a really cool wall breach I wanted to include in here because not only are you glitched inside this wall breach and now you can kind of chill here uh, not sure if this part is god mode I know we can shoot out of it they probably can't shoot bullets but explosives will probably get us right here but the best part about this glitch is actually if you start walking towards the right over here so make your way towards the right side just kind of walk straight right there now make a right again and then you fall right into the water once you've fallen into the water you are actually right under that little walkway pretty much that you get uh, that you would walk to to get all the way to the end of the pier now once you're right here this is the cool part of you know this glitch the view you have right here this is awesome and you can shoot through all of this okay so if you got a bounty on you or something that this is the ultimate spot all right nobody will ever see you coming this is a glitch I haven't seen many people post uh, as you can see right here I'm gonna shoot BMX there you go his health did go down so you can shoot out of here he shot a bunch of rockets at me uh, previously and um, eventually it did kill me but they, you gotta be pretty close to the wall for it to kill you so, so you can see right here I swam to the end and actually I ended up falling right under the map you know I gotta show you an under the map glitch always man with these videos under the map glitches are some of my favorites and look at this I actually spawned underwater uh, out of nowhere so I'm just like oh crap you know my <laughs> my health is starting to go down you know I need a rebreather and then I start swimming up now all of a sudden I'm falling under the map again and then I just spawn right back on top so I hope you guys enjoyed this video man I got a really good response from this when I posted it last time over 144 likes four dislikes so I will be bringing these more often when there's no money glitches going around but uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button, and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.